Okay, welcome back. We're going to cover five things that you can do to add energy and enthusiasm to presentations. Now, a lot of these tips that I'm going to give you kind of go against conventional wisdom. If I ask other public speaking coaches, they're going to tell you a lot of times the exact opposite of what I'm going to tell you here. But I think if you kind of pay attention to what I'm going to show you, I think this will really, really make sense. The very first thing that you can do to add energy and enthusiasm to pretty much any presentation, and really the, the adding the energy is important because energy is the most important aspect of a speech. But the very first thing that you can do is kind of speed up. Most people are going to tell you that if you when you stand up in front of a group, you have to speak very slowly and enunciate your words. Well, it just sounds weird. You know, it doesn't sound very interesting at all. And in fact, if you've ever seen folks that have been that have been in you know years and years of like debate club or or if they've been to toasting clubs and stuff like that, a lot of times they'll train people to kind of slow down. It takes away a lot of the natural energy though. So if you find that when you get nervous, you start to speed up your rate of speech, that's okay because that's going to actually be portrayed to the audience as energy and as enthusiasm. The other thing that you want to keep in mind is that the way that you move, the speed in which you move, it will actually set the stage for your presentation as well. A lot of times when folks are walking up to the front to kind of start their speech, what they'll do is they'll walk like they're going to the gallows. You know, they'll be kind of hunched over, walk really, really slowly. I guess they're expecting that if they walk slow enough that the time will run out before they get up there and they won't have to say anything. But in reality, it, it, it makes you look kind of weak and timid when you're kind of walking up. So what I would suggest folks do when they're kind of coming up to the front is instead of kind of walking very slowly, in fact, take about a half step faster pace when you kind of walk up. You know, if you kind of move up with your with purpose, then uh, you're actually pushing energy energy into the room. So speed is your friend when you're when you're in front of a group. It will actually increase your energy and create increase your enthusiasm. So speak a little faster. And if you speak naturally fast anyway, don't worry about it. Do not try to slow down because if you do, it'll suck away a lot of that energy and move around a little bit faster as well. It'll make help you push energy into the room. The second thing you need to, to focus on in order to increase your, your enthusiasm is your volume, uh, especially folks who kind of are a little bit more shy or intimidated when they get up in front of a room. A lot of times what they'll do, do is they'll speak much more quietly. Uh, a good rule of thumb is to, especially if you're one of those folks that have trouble with volume, is to look at the person that's in the very, very back of the room and pretend like you're talking just to that person when you begin. Because if that person can hear you, everybody else can hear you as well, right? So, uh, but the thing that you want to keep in mind is that if you need to, if you need to insert energy into the room, then insert a little bit of volume and that will kind of help as well. Third thing is you want to increase the amount of movement, movement that you have as well. Because uh, the, the, it, in fact, the cool thing about uh, in having energy in front of the, in front of a room is that all you have to be is just a little bit more enthusiastic than the last person who spoke, which is actually fairly easy to do because for the most part, as far as movement goes, most of the people that you're kind of quote unquote competing against in front of a, when, when you're, when you're speaking are folks that the only movement that they ever do is just with their thumb. You know, they do this movement with their clicker and that's it, right? So basically, if you do just a little bit of, a few gestures, if you kind of move around a little bit, if you kind of move your feet or walk around or take a step, make a statement and then step back and make a step to this side of the audience, that kind of thing, just those little kind of minor things will actually add a lot of energy. Now, one of the key things that I like to tell people about the, the amount of movement and when to move is that when you get into, when you start telling stories and examples like we focused on in earlier kind of videos, that when you tell stories, you tend to use gestures naturally to kind of explain. You use your hands to explain what's happening, the images that are going on in your head. You kind of use your hands to explain those things. And so you'll increase your, the amount of gestures that you use pretty dramatically if you're telling stories or giving examples. So that's an easy way. The other thing that you want to do is kind of use your visual aids as well. So for instance, if you have your, if you have your slide behind you that has your title and your, and your three key points, then anytime you, you move to a new point or anytime you, you talk about that title, just kind of point to it with your hand, that little bit of movement, because it, has, it will actually add a lot of energy, especially if you kind of take your hand and point it to your, to your title, and then you kind of once you explain it to your audience, then go back, go to your first bullet point, explain that to your audience. Though that's going to increase your, your movement pretty dramatically. Now, in addition to having more movement, you also have, want to have bigger movement, bigger gestures as well. So the fourth thing is to make your gestures kind of bigger. The, the bigger you make your gestures, the more energetic you will appear. In fact, what will tend to happen is anytime we get nervous or, or we feel threatened, really, 
what we tend to do is we want to protect the most vulnerable part of our body, which is our kind of midsection. So what people will tend to do, especially when, when they're in front of a group and they feel nervous, is they'll kind of clasp their hands together. When they do that, their elbows will kind of be locked at their side. The gestures will be very small and weak. Right? If you do like we've asked you to do in earlier sessions and kind of drop your hands down by your side and then you make a gesture, a lot of times not only are you using one hand, but you're typically using both hands at the same time, and a lot of times you'll move your feet as well. So that will actually make your gestures you know, much bigger, get them outside of your torso. So the wider that your gestures are outside of your torso, the higher that they are over your shoulders, the more energetic you will appear in, in front of a group. So make your gestures bigger. By the way, just a, a little caveat about this is that the bigger the room is, the bigger your gestures have to be. If you're in a boardroom, you'll probably never need to get your gestures any bigger than, than probably your shoulders or maybe your head, that kind of thing, right? But if you're in a big auditorium and there's you know, 500 or 1,000 people, the folks that are, that are in the audience are gonna see that. So you actually have to exaggerate your gestures. Okay, the fifth thing, the last thing that you can do to add energy to any, any presentation, really, is you want to change up your tone. Now, everything else that we talked about, the speed, the, uh, the volume, the, the amount of movement, the size of your gestures, those are things that if you increase them, you're going to increase your, your energy and enthusiasm. Tone is a little bit different. You just want to change up your tone a little bit. What do they call boring speakers? What kind of tone? Monotone. Right? It is the same tone all the way through the presentation. So basically, you just got to change your tone up. Now, obviously, when you tell stories and give examples, the reason why we focus on that a lot in the presentation training that we do is because people will naturally change their tone up when they're and put emphasis on certain parts of their stories and that kind of thing. Um, but if uh, but if you kind of change your tone up um, naturally when you explain things, it will actually cause you to emphasize certain things. I'll give you a great example of how this works in, in real life. In fact, when you put all these things together, it's really cool. About It's been about 12 years or so ago now. Uh, one of the ladies that came through my class worked for one of the big four accounting firms, and she was she had, she was in kind of a difficult situation because about three years prior to her planning this presentation or giving this presentation, she her entire firm had outsourced their IT department. And they, they did it because they assumed they were going to save some money. IT is very expensive because it's, it, there's a cost to acquire new IT people. There's constant training. Uh, every time new software packages come out, they have to recertify all their IT folks for the new software and all that kind of stuff. Plus, you've got all the regular benefits and insurance and, and that kind of thing. So what they figured that they would do is they would just outsource that to a contractor, let a contractor do all their IT stuff. Well, she went back and started looking at the numbers, and when she gave her first kind of three-point talk in, in, in the morning session of, our, of the Fearless Presentations class, she gave a really good presentation, but she kind of talked about the two different amounts of money that they were spending. She said prior to the, the, um, the outsourcing of the IT department, all total, on average, they were spending about $150,000 per IT person. And then after they, they um, subcontracted this out to, to uh, the, an IT contractor, but what they figured out is that they were spending about $300,000 per, per uh, contractor. So they'd actually doubled their, their costs when they did this. So she gave her first presentation in the morning, and she basically just told the two numbers. She said, well, we're spending 150 now we're spending 300 Well, after we kind of did an enthusiasm session and kind of showed her how to use these five things all together and kind of changed the way that she delivered that information in the, in the final presentation because what she did was she when she talked about those two numbers, she separated them physically in the room. So when she talked about the $150,000, she put it on one side of the room. Right, 150 was on this side of the room. Then when she got to the 300, she put it on the opposite side of the room, but she made the gesture twice as big. Obviously 300 is twice as big as 150. So, so she kind of moved over to this side and she said the 300. She also put a different tone. So basically what, so the way that she kind of delivered the presentation she said, was she said, you know, before we outsourced our IT department, we were spending about $150,000 per IT person. Now we're spending $300,000 per consultant, right? So by using her gestures and her tone and her volume, she was able to really emphasize the, the uh, differences between those two numbers and really add some energy to her presentation. You can do the same thing. So it does, you don't have to be over the top with your energy and enthusiasm. But the thing you want to keep in mind about, about having energy and having enthusiasm is it is absolutely the most important part of any presentation. The, there are no boring presentations. There are only boring speakers, right? So 
So basically, uh, you want to if you want to increase your energy enthusiasm, you want to actually do those five things that we talked about before. You want to speed up, talk a little bit faster, move around a little bit faster. You want to increase your volume, speak a little bit louder. You don't have to yell, but increase your volume about an octave or so. Move around more. Use the room. Use your whole stage when you're presenting. And then move around bigger. Make your gestures bigger. And then finally, change up your tone. You do those five things, and you're going to be an enthusiastic and energetic speaker no matter what your topic.